Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Cavern of Dreams. I'm in the hub world here. Looking to go to the next world. We have a few of these bonus levels that we unlocked. I think two of them to be exact. That is correct. Um, I'm going to go up here first, though. Just to see what's going on with this final egg. I wonder if I can hatch a new world at this stage. Or at least get a new hint. Huge tank of water in the flying monster. High enough where only mushrooms can reach. Huge tank of water where flying mushrooms can reach. I don't know exactly what that's referring to. I know those are like puzzles to hatch them. Um, but yeah, I don't know exactly how to get to all those. I can't get up there. Okay, but regardless, I know where the next world is. Or at least I have a very faint idea. I believe it's in under or behind this waterfall. So I will go here. Oh, wait, maybe not. I had a feeling that it was. It is. Nice. Yes, you get height for the ground pound. So I can go up here now. Very nice. Uh, oh my gosh, this game. It is so adorable. That was shocking. Um, yeah, this game is just really fun. It's, it's really cozy. I need to jump on the fish, if I do assume. Correct. I'm assuming correctly. And then we go in here. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And then right here's an egg. Amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So this is, um, oh, it's, we're back in the hub. Wait a minute. We're back in the hub. That's very interesting. Okay, so that was not the real world that we needed to go to. That was just a, an egg. Cool. Cool. I mean, not complaining. Um, we can go in the waterfall as well. I feel like it's not a bad idea. Nope, we can't go in. Okay. So I had to find a new world now. Interesting. I thought that was it. Okay. Um, yeah, this is a very old school 64 style, like, Banjo. It reminds me a lot of Banjo-Kazooie, honestly. I was thinking Spyro at first because of the dragon, but really is very, um, very, uh, very Banjo-Kazooie. But also has some really fun movement tech, so I, 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 I just love it. It's really good. Really a fun game. Um, we could do this. These. Uh, I'm trying to think where to go. I don't fully know. I know there's a lot of like little puzzles here. Being slower is in a red drone. Don't know exactly what that is referring to, or any of those puzzles, really, to be honest with you. I am not feeling very confident with these puzzles at the moment. I feel like there was more to this area in general, so I'm going to see if I can find anything. Um... So we'll see. We'll see. I know this guy up there is interesting. Oh, and there's a very strange portal as well. Um, and a flag over there, which I was intrigued by more so. So I'm going to go to that flag first. Oh, I can't make that. Ah! I probably can't, actually. I just messed it up. Yep. Very nice. Oh, I love the little growth of the... Um, I climb this? Yeah. I don't think there's anything in here. I don't see anything. Yeah. Huh. This looks like there's a vine to go down. But also, I don't see any rhyme or reason to do so. This is new, though. Wait a minute. I just love the movement tech right now. It's very fun. It feels very, very pro speedrunning scene as well in a lot of ways, which is really cool. Me, not so much. Um, I am not in the, in the speedrunning realm for this game or have any potential really in that world. Um, I don't feel like I can actually get up there this way. I'm going to need to take that pipe and then go. So we'll see how that works. Um, all this stuff is already triggered. I missed that jump again. I'm so bad at this platforming bit, I don't know why. <laughs> I think just in general the platforming is, it feels a little delayed, but it is just probably me and my controller. Also just me not expecting to go as fast as I do. Oh, this is new, wait a minute. What are this? Oh, gesture boots. Um, oh, that does change things a little bit for this area, doesn't it? it does, okay. So gesture boots are a very fun mechanic. Whenever you walk off an edge, instead of dying, you actually float on air for a while. Um, as you see there with the orange highlight, for example. 
Uh, I need to figure out where I'm going, though. Let's think here. I would say probably this way to start. Feels like a good idea. There's anything with that. Uh, I don't think there's anything with that either. Huh. I wonder what I'm supposed to do here. Are you just supposed to get like really high air? I don't want to fall to have to get them. Let's change things up for sure. What is anything? I'm looking uh, at the below area too to see if there's anything with those weird ladders. I don't think so. Let's seemingly just revolve around a few things here. Um, I could go on this portal. I know this takes me to the Armada ship. If I go in, I don't really need to go on the Armada ship. I could also get to this height and then walk over here to activate this area. Yeah. Ba, 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 ba. Okay. But that doesn't look like it actually leads to anything, just except for an extra height boost for the one over here, right? Yep, 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 yep. Almost choked that. Almost choked that. What are you for now? Interesting. I don't see any rhyme or reason to why this exists. Oh, I need to get to... I see now. I see now. I need to get to the egg from this. It might be a little too high, actually. We're fine. So we get to the egg. Very good. And then we'll go to this portal, because we're already here. Why not? Um, I don't think there's any other secrets to this area. I don't think I can get up that high um, to where that would make a difference. So let's go to the portal. First portal here. All right, see ya. Oh, Chester Boots, right? Oh, these are like little teleporters. I get it. So to get to the hubs, it's quicker. I see now. That makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. So we got a few more eggs. That was good. Um... I probably need to find another hub, to be honest. So let's 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 exhaust some options. That way is no longer a thing. That was no longer a thing. This could be a way. Yeah, this might be the way. Well, this is back to the start, though. Yeah, that's back to the start. That's just the beginning. I don't see anything that's like really pointing at. That was a weird little pixel. You see that? Oh, I think it's just particle stuff. Okay, let's go back down. This is where we started. So that's exhausted. This has not been exhausted, but we don't know how to get there just yet. Um, this has also not been... No, this has been... This, that's the first path. This is the second path, and then that's the start. Oh, okay, so there is nothing left. Is this something above me? I don't think so, though. So we'll go back to... Uh, to uh, the first world, I guess. Yeah. We'll see if there's new stuff to discover there. There might be. There was the ice thing. Um, that we had seen the one time. Also, there are better traversals now with this, which is interesting. I can actually get up here now. So that might lead me to some answers. An egg here. It feels a bit nice. I do like how unlinear this game is. Like, I usually don't like games that are more, like, open and stuff. Like, I like more of a linear path in my games, typically. Um, which I know is maybe a hot take. I know a lot of people like the, the open world stuff. It's a very popular thing, especially with, like, Breath of the Wild popularizing a lot of that. And I, I love Breath of the Wild. Like, that's one of my favorite games of all time. I think open world done right is a better genre, but I think it's done wrong more than right a lot of the times. We can make this for sure, I think. Yep. And then... Nice. This is a really fun little movement tech. I do like it a lot. But I don't know. I, th I think linear linear is just better because... If it's... I feel like I can make that, to be honest. But does that give me anything? I don't think it does. But I can't... Oh, my, is a crystal there. Anything with that. Okay, I'm gonna try it one more time and just see if I can make it. I might not have enough height yet. But I do feel like there's a double jump or something. I could be very wrong with that as well. Okay, and then... 
I don't think I make that one. No, I just don't. Also, there's multiple amber crystals, so I feel like it's nothing. So I'm going to go with that assumption and just move on. You know what I mean? Oh, that was the way back, so we can just go in the tree trunk. But no, with linear games, like, linear is better in a lot of ways because you're able to... I'm going to hit this first. Uh, you're able to um, more direct, like, direct the player a lot more. And so, like, there's a lot of times in open world games where you just get really lost and confused. And I don't know if that feeling's worth it, you know what I mean? Uh, for telling a good story, you know? And I love games that have a really good story. Like, JRPGs are great, and they're linear stories, right? Um, for the most part. There's very few that aren't. Um, and they're told really well. And I really like that. You know? So most games I prefer it. I think a lot of open world games, they rely on a lot of really tropey um, things to try to direct people. But at the same time, they, they don't do it well. Like, I, I think, um, like, Breath of the Wild feels really good because the game balances along with you as you get stronger. So you can technically go any direction you want. There's some ramifications, but not a ton that are concerning enough to where it's a problem, you know? I don't know if that makes perfect sense, but it does to me. I think that's the most important thing. Um, I don't know. I, I just like linear games more. I think, I think that's probably the crux of it. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's anything in here that's, like, even remotely worth it. I don't believe there is. I don't believe there is. I don't think I can get that high, to be honest. Even if I could, I, I doubt that it's anything worthwhile. My gut telling me that. Oh, uh, I can't go back in the bat house, but the bat house, I feel like, doesn't have anything left. I feel like there's nothing else left for me to get here. You know what I mean? Oh, there was the ice area, though. I want to see if I can activate that now. Or if there's a way for me to activate it. You know what? I might have to do with the tombstones, to be honest. The uh, the ice thing. I'm intrigued. It might. It might. It just might. Here's where the ice thing was. It was that way, right? Yeah. Let's see if I can find the secret now. The mechanism somewhere around here. I do have an apple, but I don't fully see anything that would like lead me to be like, hey, this is switch that you need to press. What was that thing up there, though? Oh, is this just my face? I think it's just my face. Or it's the apple. It's the apple. That's what it is. Let me throw this. Yeah, I don't see anything. It's even remotely like a switch. You know? Oh, maybe I can do that. Okay, okay. So that's not the answer. Maybe there's something with the Armada ship, then, that I need to do. It's very curious. Because, yeah, I don't really fully know. I feel like I've explored all my options in this area, specifically. I mean, I can get that card, I guess, now, because I can jump a bit higher, but... So, like, do I care? I guess I'm in Rome, you know? Might as well. Um, but yeah, like, this open world game, like, I like it, but also I am so lost right now. And that's the thing I don't like about open world games, is that, that feeling, that moment where you're like, oh, I don't know where to go, is very common. It feels. Although I still don't think I can actually do this. Oh, no, I definitely can. There's a bit more platforming to do. Alright, and then... <laughs> Excuse me. Scare my dog with that cough. That's everything in this room, right? Uh, I can take that bet, yeah. I can definitely take that bet. And we're on the landing. And again, I don't see anything that's, like, pointing to an answer. The bell I've already rung. I could go to that teepee real quick and just see if there's anything there. Maybe I'll talk to you again. I don't know. Nothing. Like, there's some gravestones, but, like, I don't think those mean anything. There's the turtle, but I don't think that means anything. What the? Oh. Wasn't there, like, a thing about a thing? Let me read this. 
So yeah, I saw a bat carrying around a dragon's egg. This is Shelbert's, like, hit. Find the grave that is in bloom and strike from behind to enter my tomb. Oh! Find the grave that is in bloom and strike from behind to enter my tomb. That's good to know. I went through the wall. So that's what these uh, tombstones are. In bloom. I'm looking for one that has, like, flowers around it, seemingly. Oh, there it is. Really fun. I didn't even realize that. So this must be the next world. This might be the ice place. Nice. Let's go. Like, I also like those moments, though, when you do find out the answer. It is satisfying, but there's just so many times where, like, also that answer comes, like, 30 minutes in, you know? Or, like, looking it up on a wiki or whatever, right? I don't know. I'm very iffy on the idea of a open world game versus a linear. I like both, to be fair. But, again, open world is just so much harder to get done right that I just kind of relented the fact of, like, hey, you know what? Linear games, they might just be better. They might just be the better option, you know? Um, so I'm very 50-50 I'm very on it, but I think it's just my skepticism, mostly. Like, I like how Zelda does it, because Zelda, let, like, the end goal is clear early on. And I think that's a very useful thing to know, you know? Like, having the restful goal, or the, the end goal, rather, um, be in sight, but you're working towards it as you play. In the open world, like, having that, that goal to, like, finish the game is, I think, why I like Legend of Zelda so well. What is this? Crypt walls are a stream. Find fish who resist the flow. Strike them to reveal. Find fish who resist the flow. Strike them to reveal. So that's in the maze. There are like these fish that are going the opposite direction. And those are the ones we have to hit. Seemingly. That sounds like it. Is the case. Like you, for example. Really fun. Okay. 30 seconds to get in. Or get on. I don't understand what the objective is here. Oh no, wrong one. I don't know the objective. I don't know the objective. What's the objective? Is that to get on it? Huh. Very interesting. I don't fully understand the objective here. Does it want me to jump on top of it? Like, I don't... Oh, is this how you're supposed to get to that tomb? What? I don't understand. I don't know what it's trying to get me to do. Is this to like... I'm just very confused. I don't think this is anything. I think this is like a way to like get to that. But you can just jump to that from there. That The place I just left. I don't fully understand the objective of that thing. You know what I mean? Am I crazy? I guess I could just get to that platform and then jump to it. Let's do that one more time. I'll jump on top of it and see if that does anything. I can even jump to... No, I can't. Oh, no, I can't. I can't. I think I can. I can definitely do this jump. Can we go here? Now, what's the... Is that just to get to this tomb? But you can just fly to this tomb with glide. I guess if you don't have glide? But then how would you do it? I don't understand this one. This puzzle doesn't make sense to me. Let's look for more opposite fish here. Yep. <laughs> look for more opposite fish here. I think that's just the best way to do this. Um, okay, so you are an apple. Where do I go with this apple? I don't understand why this apple exists. Is that wrong of me to say? 
it's not wrong, but I'm just confused. There's no. I don't understand. Oh, it's my face. I see it. I see. It, I see it. How do I get up there then? Do I have to like climb this and then? No, I can't climb it with the apple. A bizarre one to throw. Yeah, no, that's tricky. Oh. Or it's just an Easter egg, and that doesn't even matter. That might just be what it is, honestly. Oh, yeah, it's just Easter egg. Um, okay, I don't understand this area at all, to be honest. Nothing beyond the boundary there. It's just a weird cliff with an apple. I'll take the apple with me in case I need it, but... Oh, wait, what's this? No, it's just leaves. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I throw the apple and then... Hit the turtle? Yeah, I don't know. I'll bring the apple with me, just in case. In the options I need it, but I don't think I will. Very strange. Very, very strange. Um, That's a very strange area. I'm not gonna lie. Any other weird fish? Where are you? Weird the weird fish. I need the weird fish. I don't think so. Okay, I think that's just for the one egg. Maybe the apple makes that easier? Can I throw the apple in here, for example? No. I don't understand that. That's just very bizarre. Very, very bizarre. Okay. No other weird fish either. Yeah, that's just the most bizarre secret in the world. Yeah, no other strange fish. Okay. I think cool, there's like an easter egg here too, where the fish are off. But yeah, no, we're good. Right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. I don't know. Um, I don't think that tomb has anything else in it. I'll double check. I think we've exhausted all options in this area. Outside of this tomb. Underground's nothing. Oh, we can't swim here. Ooh. That might actually change things. Maybe, or just for the secret thing up here. Yeah, no, that doesn't work. I didn't think that would. <sighs> I didn't think that would. Uh, how do we get up there, though, is the question. We have to, like, dive down here and then up this way or something? Maybe. I mean, you definitely can't just make that jump, I don't think. Maybe you can, though. I don't think you can. Huh. I mean, maybe there's, like, a secret? Oh, I totally get this now, by the way. I, mean, I got it by accident, I think, but I totally get it now. Let's see if it triggers it again. Um, I don't think there's anything else to this area then. Okay. Very interesting. But yeah, like the moments like this where I'm just like, I'm so lost. This is not entertaining at all to me. You know? I don't think I'm crazy for saying that either. Maybe I am, but I don't know. I'm just like, I would rather just play the game and just keep playing the platform levels the order it's supposed to be played in. And maybe it's something I'm missing that's just like really ridiculous and I should just know by now. Oh, you know what it might be? I think I, I think I figured it out actually. I think I have to do a nosedive into the water in the hub to get underwater. I don't think I can just go straight diving. I have to actually do the nosedive proper. That might be all it is, to be honest with you. And if so, then I forgive this game. Oh, it's a secret door. Go back in actually. Saw it last second. Okay. Also a new world. Potentially. Yeah, okay. This is something. This is something. It's like a gate of some sort. Just an egg at this point. Okay. 
Looks like this is like a secret to the next world, which probably is the ghost one, which is probably the one underwater. I'm just a silly billy. I just missed it. I do like the speed you go though in this game, it does feel very satisfying. Like, especially like with the more power-ups I'm getting and the, just the faster it seemed to be going, which is quite exciting. Um, there's a lot of like weird things as well that I gotta talk to people with, but I think for now, let's just go to the next world here. I think this is the answer. It probably even says on the sign, to be honest. I'm just being a silly billy. Yep, 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 yep. That's it. I'm being silly. I can't believe myself, man. Oh my gosh. So we're sealed mysterious enemy. You, you, is your heart strong enough? Also, I have to get one more heart. I think. I think. It's a big I think, to be fair. And this is just back to the... Yeah, this is nothing. I think... This is just the, uh, yeah, this is just the puzzle to get to the top of the waterfall to then be able to have better flying power. Okay, so I need to I need to do one of these quests where people are talking to me. So I need to figure one of these out to get enough energy for the door. So let's talk to a couple. Let's see if we can kind of wrap our brains around one. Small cave behind the flowing brook. In a small cave behind the flowing brook. In a small cave behind the flowing brook. That might just be here. No, it's not a brook, though. Behind the flowing brook. Small cave behind the flowing brook. I feel like that sounds like this area over here. A small cave behind the flowing brook. Let's get all of them just to be safe. High up on the wall in the depths of the cavern of dreams where key he's burn bright. Depths of the caverns of dreams where key he's burn bright. Depths of the caverns of dreams where key he's burn bright. I don't think I know where that is, to be honest with you. I kind of have an idea? That's the thing with the fire drone, I think. I don't know exactly what that's talking about. Um, let's talk to you real quick. In a huge tank of water in the flying monster. High enough where only mushrooms can reach. Where only mushrooms can reach. In a tank of water in the flying machine. Um, so I know that that what world that's in, which is the only one I know for sure which world it's in. So I'm actually gonna go for that one. But I do know it's in this. So that's a benefit, right? Knowing that is huge. That's like half the battle. Where only mushrooms can reach is interesting. Okay, I know the plants, the mushrooms make you bounce. That's all it's saying. I think we have to go to the world here to really see. Okay, I don't know what he said. I don't care. I gotta find water. Oh my gosh, that guy's so scary every time! Jesus! Okay. We gotta go in the ship, I'm pretty sure, for this one. Um, also, I need to go to this island up there. So I need to also tilt it to, I believe, the right. Yeah. I think this is the one. Going through the yellow door. We need to find water. Oh, this is not the right door, actually. We need to find water. Find water. I don't know where water is on the ship, to be honest with you. Oh, it might be the blue. Because we got No, blue is where we... No, no, blue is not where we came in. Blue is not where we came in. So we need to tilt it. I mean, we can tilt it either way at this point. And then go outside and try to find a way to get up there. In the water, high where only mushrooms can reach. It might be that secret dragon card right there. That might be what it is. Let's see. Let us see. We can very easily make that jump once we get over here. And do some rolling. Oh, well. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Gotta go up here. We do rolling. Oh, oopsies. Maybe I can just make this jump from the, this box over here. And then this box. Maybe? Not quite. So I wonder if these dragon cards are like how you unlock some of the, um, some of the eggs. Oh, that's tragic. Okay. Um, well, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Who knows? We'll figure it out. I thought they were just random collectibles, but they might be, like, very specific, um, ways. Oh, 
That makes sense. And then, I don't even know if I can make this jump, to be honest. I could tilt it and then make it, probably. Yeah, that might be the secret. Let's do that. Let's do that. Doesn't matter if I get hit here, honestly. Oh, we go this way, though. Ah! Okay. Uh, we can tilt it to... Because it is... I remember which way it is. Is so if I look at it, it is to the left there, and right now it is at the right side, so I need to tilt it this way. I think. Mm, yes. I think that's right. The boxes move, I never even realized that. Oh, uh, we don't go up here. Oh, Jesus. I don't know if this is exactly what I need to do. It might not be, actually. Yeah, it might not be. I'm going to do it the other way. I think I do need to do it the other way. I think I do need to do it the other way. The issue is... That is the way it is, but I need to tilt it the other way to... You only jump to it. Ugh. This game's fun, but also, like, this is kind of lame. I don't like this. Uh, uh, not lame, but, you know. It is silly. It's a bit silly. No mistake in that. Yeah, that might be the answer. Might be. It's still, it's still a maybe, to be honest with you, but it looks a bit simpler. Oh, no, it's not. What? Did I have it right and then I messed it up? I might have. Yeah, I might have. Let's go back the other way. I didn't even try it the other way. I probably should have. Yeah, I can't make it from there. Um. Oh, wait. This way. No? Huh? There it is. Okay. Easy. Okay, and then we gotta do it again. That might be it. Mmm, I think if I actually go lower, if I go for like the edge there at the very back, it, I do get that. That should be it. So now we just gotta get out of here. Probably quicker if I die. Yep. Nothing quicker if I die. So if my theory is correct, that is at least one of the dragon uh, quests that I need to get to moving. So let's see. Let's see if it is. Uh, I'm also gonna try to get to one of these up here. So to do that, I have to get up on top of the ship. Means I probably need to do the rope puzzle. Just assuming. But maybe not. I mean, I don't have to. We'll see. Yeah, I think I have to. Um. Yeah, I do have to. Okay. It's fine. Oh, I can't go back though. I gotta go back around, I think. Um, I think I have to go back around to do this. Oh yeah, I definitely do. Okay. Round two. You realize I had to do the rope puzzle there? Oh, no. Oh, like, this is fun, but also, like, it's 35 minutes of me backtracking to get to the next world, and it's like, is that really what I want in a video game? Especially when I have been doing, like, an okay job with collectibles, I feel. Like, I, I can say that with some level of pride, I feel like, but... I understand that, like, I did no, like, quests at all, or I got no collectibles outside of just the main ones. But I've been getting, I've been getting a decent amount of them. I feel so. It's a little. It, it is very like traditional. Uh, it is very much going for that. Oh my gosh. 
I want to vomit at this jump puzzle so many times. It's awful. I mean, this makes it a bit easier, to be fair. Although it does take your the movement there, which sucks. But oh my gosh, I hate this puzzle. I mean, a puzzle is just like a very basic jump. I don't actually think I can make that this time with the cheese, right? Yeah, no, this is angled. Oh my gosh. The wind pulls me through. It's so annoying. It's such an annoying puzzle. And again, not even a puzzle, just a jump. Oh my gosh. Please. Please. And then we go up here. And then we need to back up a little bit. And then we can't make that. Oh my gosh. Please, please, please. Okay. Now comes the tricky part. We need to get... Oh, how do I even do that? How do I get up here? Is it a bounce jump from like this height? Into a fly? It is. And then this is tricky. Okay, okay, okay. The wind is not making this easy. Grab this. And then. I don't think we make that. I don't think there's a world in hell where we make that. To be honest with you. Jesus. Okay, well, we got two two uh, cards. One of those cards surely must be what I need. The only issue now is that I need to get back, and I don't think I can. Maybe I can, maybe I can, maybe I can. Ball's tilted. I think I can, okay. I wonder if I get to the top of this, if I can... No, I just don't think I can. I have to, like, lower it somehow, I feel. I feel kind of comfortable saying that. I don't think I can get to the top of this roof. If I get to the roof of this, like, it would be doable. There's no way... Ugh, I can. The height just never extends enough. I simply can't make that, so... Okay, out we go. We got two cars. One of them should be right. I wish the portal was in here, but that's okay. It looks like it's... I mean, it's, like, right outside the pod. It's something else. Surely one of these is hatchable now. No, no. Uh, surely one of these is hatchable now. I didn't get that one. I don't think I got that one either. He doesn't look like he's moving up there. Please say he's moving here. What? Low roasted in a red drone. Oh my gosh. So I still need another heart. I don't have enough eggs. And none of them are shaking. Well, we'll go to the small cave behind the flowing brook in the next episode. If I do not get to the next world in the next episode, the series is over. I'm just saying that right now. Um, oh, I, I like this game a lot. It's got a lot of charm, but also, my goodness, the backtracking sucks right now. But I'm hoping that the next world makes up for it. There's some very exciting biomes and things that I'm very, looking, very much looking forward to. So hopeful, 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 hopeful that this is the key and I'm doing things right. I don't know. We'll find out in the next episode. Till then, peace.